Okay, well, thank you for the follow, people. Exited host mode, exited host mode, exited host mode, according to the bot. Told me this six times. Thank you for the follow, Seek and Bob and Pig. I appreciate it. So I can't hear a dang thing. Because the intro sequence is... Like the intro screen, very quiet. Okay, so I was intending to do this in a different position than I am now, as in a different area of the game, but it took me four hours to get through the first part because I got lost. But, you know, we're just going to put that on the down low. I didn't, I didn't actually get lost, I swear. Okay, so... Thing I need to do is over there, so we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna go towards a thing I avoided earlier. I'm kinda glad I turned that up, because now I can actually hear things through my headphones. Hopefully it doesn't go through the door though, I don't want to bother anyone. Oh. You can switch arrows. That's not good, that's not what I wanted. And of course he's an arrow shooter. Oh well. Super easy to beat. A bow, nice. I did not expect to actually get his bow. Of course, now that goat's gonna run away. Wait, what? That's a boomerang? I didn't know that. You learn something new every day. Okay, gonna grab those. So yeah, I don't see anyone popping in here real quick or anything. I'm actually gonna check something. I'm gonna mute my desktop audio for just a second. What I'm checking is just to make sure I'm actually online. I know that the... Or, like, with the right name, that is. I know that I'm online, but... I need to make sure I have the right name. Yeah, okay. I do. So I don't really see too many people popping in for this one, just because... Well, for one, a lot of people are doing stuff, so... Yeah. I don't want to interrupt anyone else's stream, either. But anyways, uh, I'm mostly here to show off gameplay, see what you can get with this gameplay. This is not a sponsored video. So I just got a rush room. That's one thing in this game is you can pick up a lot of stuff. I can show off in my inventory real quick. I always do that. So, I keep doing it. Why? It's the right stick. See, we got a bunch of stuff. We got weapons, we got bows, we got shields, we got armor. Uh, I got squeaks from my chair. As you can see, I also have the DLC for the Switch, even though I do not have the Switch itself. Don't plan on buying that for quite a while. Also, I can change my outfit if I really want to, but, like, the one is the armor value, and this actually has cost resistant. Actually, does this have... Or cold resistance? Why did I say cost resistance? English is my first language. Let's see. Okay, so this has four. I could wear this if I wanted to, but this one looks cooler, so... I don't think they have durability ratings. Like, so far, the controls of this game aren't bad. They're confusing, but not bad. Like, just very small things. Like, this, you use the right stick to go through the inventory. I want to press R and L because that goes through my quest things, which probably got a small glimpse of things to of my actual, like, quests, but I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna try to avoid spoilers. I mean, you know what the base game's about. It's every Zelda game has one base thing. There's a shrine. I've already been to that shrine. Uh, I'll go over what those are when I find one I haven't been to yet, which I do have marked on the map, because if you press in the right stick, you get a little, a little zoom thing, and I can look around and be like, oh, there's a thing. I can mark it can't place anymore though. So I can go here and I can be like, I didn't mean to do that. I also change it to a stamp, I don't really know what that means. I think I just place a stamp on the ground or something, I don't know. They are not extremely clear. Also, it's another thing, you can, you can hunt animals. You can just kill random animals. I have yet to see a chicken. Like I've seen birds just like regular pigeon, seagull, well, not seagull, I guess. Just sparrows, all that kind of stuff. I have not seen a chicken. 
I'm not sure I want to see a chicken. There's a horse. You can go and wrestle with that horse. But I need to figure out a way to get across this water without swimming, because I don't want to swim. Also, that looks scary. I don't know what that is. I guess I could just take the bridge. That would be the most optimal thing, I guess. I also have stamina in this game, but it's not... It doesn't... It doesn't last very long, so it's not very useful. It is useful, but I, I'm level 1. Like, this is the very beginning of the game. I don't know if you get any major upgrades to this, but I do know you can get them. And I'll go over that later. Kind of awkward having the bob and pig thing on my stream. This is like the only message there. Just, yeah, thanks for the follow. I feel bad that the other one's not on there. I didn't have OBS opened. I didn't. I did see it. I just didn't notice. Or I didn't have OBS open, so it didn't go on the chat log. Which is a weird connection to that. It's weird that the OBS chat log only updates when OBS is open. Oh, I have actually not been here. To this bridge specifically. How did I get across earlier then? Because I definitely... Oh yeah, I went over there to that shrine. And then I swam across. Well, to be more accurate, I used my special ability to get across. But we'll go over that later. And that guy just materialized. That is a limitation. Sure like dogs. Alright, I'll see you later. I like dogs too, but that's not the first thing I say when I walk up to someone. It's just, you know, it's a little on the weird side, I think. Uh, let's see, where do I want to go? I guess this way. Can I see my... yeah, okay. can see the marks on the map, but this is faster. You can just kind of go in and out. Looks like there's a guy on that bridge. Um, do I have my thing on or something? No, it doesn't. That was just a really loud bird. Oh, it looks like he's attacking someone. Or something. Now that definitely looks like a person. A girl, too. I don't have any arrows. Uh... Like, scratch record. This is me. How'd I get into this situation? You're probably wondering how I got in this situation. I don't know how to kill those. That guy dropped a thing. He dropped a bunch of resources. Lovely day! Yeah, I have rocks tossed at me. What is up with these guys? Secret cave on the west side of Hyrule Castle. I may have tried to get a cave hunt for treasure, but none have returned. That's great! You're... Got smacked upside the head. I bet it didn't do any damage though. Hey girl, you okay? Lika? Is that such a crime? Seeing such a water stream so peacefully makes it hard to believe the great calamity really happened. Monsters attack out of nowhere and I think, alright, time to head back to the stables. Ugh, whatever. Do you mind? We're having a conversation. I swear. I wonder if I can kill these the old-fashioned way. I actually have no idea. I don't want to carry the melee weapon. BAM! I can do it! Perfect guard! Too bad it doesn't do anything! Because he went underwater and went invulnerable, I guess. Stop it! I could shoot him, but I don't want to waste arrows. Is that? Oh, my shrine detector is going off. I can go show off the shrines. You can turn that off, the little beeping, just in case it annoys you. I don't have a reason to right now because I'm heading towards the shrine, which is kind of redundant. I feel like it should definitely stop after a bit. Kill these guys. And there's just a random guy. Oh, hey, it's the cellar guy from... Yeah, from uh, Wind Waker. Except he doesn't have a boat this time. Don't believe I made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me actually. Let's just stick with Beetle. Even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle shaped backpack. I don't know if I would say that's. Oh, yeah, I guess that's a beetle. Yeah. I guess that is a beetle, huh? I just couldn't really tell because I was looking at the side. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. My name's not Beetle. Your name isn't Beetle. 
Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? What do you got? Arrows. Some things. A tireless frog. Interesting. Rare frog only ventures out in the rain when cooked with monster parts, the elixir. Huh. It's neat. I don't want anything though. I don't have that much money. And I don't really want to sell anything. So I'm here to show off the game. The games. First thing I want to show off is the major thing in this game, I think. Which is probably this. This shrine thing. The beeping is getting annoying, though. I will admit that. Let's see if I can turn that off. After I do this one, I probably won't do another. Just so no one gets spoiled on what they are. For the stream, at least. I mean, I will do them later. I'll probably play this after I'm done streaming. Need to get my uh, Snapple. Yeah, we have the Sheikah thing. I opened up the door, and now we can go inside. Another thing, I think I can use this as a fast travel point now. Because this game is just a big open world. Like, you see, I saw all the things I was doing, all the things in the distance. You can go there. So one reason I wanted to go to the Sheikah Shrines first, though, is I wanted to say that this game has a lot of interesting mechanics, and the best way to show them is through this. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Wago Kata. I didn't read the rest. The Metal Connection Shrine, okay. Yeah, like for the first time in Zelda history, you can jump. You can jump manually. There's no auto jump in this game, you have to jump manually. The only exception is that there are very tiny gaps, like in bridges or something, that you can jump automatically. But it's more like he's just taking a slightly longer step. I got an amber. So that's the thing he was talking about, I can get gemstones. And with this, how do I do this? So unlike other games where you get like a big equipment thing, it seems that most of the equipment is just, well, obviously bombs. I have magical bombs I can create. Sorry. It seems that they mostly focused on like just different types of weapons. Like, you know, I got this bone club. I got this shield. I got the bow. That's kind of it. That's that's the only equipment I have that I have to manage with. All the other stuff comes from the Sheikah slate I have on my hip, which has remote bombs, two of them. One's a square, so it doesn't roll anywhere. This one's just a regular bomb. But they're remote bombs, so I take them out, I can toss them, and I can blow them up whenever I want. That's it. That's all they do. They don't really do too much damage, though. I have noticed that. They're just mostly for opening doors and stuff. Not really for battling. I mean, they can hurt basic enemies, but it's not really worth it, in my opinion. Also, you can get hit by them, and it hurts quite a bit. So you have to be super careful with that, because otherwise you will die. I have died three times now to doing that. I'm just going to... Toss that out there. And to heal, I can just go in here. I did it again. And I have all these cooked things, which I'll go... Probably find a thing to cook later, but you can just eat stuff in your inventory. Another power that Sheikah Slate has is magnetizing. These are very basic gameplay elements, so I don't feel too bad spoiling them. Because this is kind of just given to you, and... Like, these are the main handles of the game. And they obviously have a range to them that I'm not faring well with. Okay, so what can I do here, actually? I have no idea. Maybe... Pretty sure I have to get, like, that platform up there, and then I can make a tower out of these or something. Like, make a bridge for myself. So these are all the Sheikah Shrines kind of are, they're just big puzzles, big Zelda puzzles. And then you get a thing for it. Which is used to upgrade your body, basically. I said you get upgrade to stamina later, that's how you do it. At least that's the only way I've seen how to do it, there might be other ways to do it. 
Oh no, I'm not in range. What? I thought that. I thought for sure that'd be in range. Well, I gotta do the whole thing over again. I was kind of hoping to see if I could drag the whole tower, but that's not too bad. I actually probably need to be closer, anyways. Let's see, I think this part right here would be good. You can go up, and you can see on the bottom there. I can press the diagonal or the What's it called again? I kind of keep forgetting what that's called. The D-pad, I guess. I guess that's what it's called. And then you can like push them away from you or closer to you. Doesn't matter. And it's actually slower to just climb, but it doesn't take as much stamina. So if I had ran out of stamina, I would have just fallen off. But I didn't, so it's okay. Why am I not grabbing this thing? That is definitely in range. Because I need, do I need the whole thing in the circle? Lame. Nope. And yeah, that's another thing. You have an air glider, so you can jump from really high, really high distances. It does take stamina to use for some reason. I don't know what the reasoning is behind that. I guess because you want to hold it, but still. Okay, so the game wants me to get a lot closer. I don't want to get closer. You gotta have boundaries, game. No, stop it. There we go. That's probably not going to work, but the game has physics engines. Which I will probably show off later. Hopefully. I am doing a pretty bad job of just showing off stuff, but I'm also kind of trying to just play the game. To I fell through the gap. But yeah, there's proof that you do not auto-jump, because he would have auto-jumped there in a regular old Zelda game. i got to press X to actually get through that. Why did it play the music? I didn't... I didn't solve anything. Ugh. Whatever. Alright, so how far does this go? So I just walked over that thing before. I missed. There we go. Okay, move it away. I think I'm a little out of range. But that's fine. At least I know how far it can... it needs to go. I go over here, just do the exact same thing I was doing, but I had to go grab the thing first. There we go. I think I can grab it from up there, but I don't know if I should. Go ahead and put it up there. But I have to be careful because you can knock things over. Like I could knock that whole tower over. Little to the right. No, little, well, a little to the left, actually. Uh-oh. Ow! I just got squished. I lost sight, and it broke on my head. Do I have to go over here, maybe? Did I do it? I did it! Cool. Oh, Link. Just climb the thing. Okay, there we go. I know this is a new concept, but... There we go, I did it! Yay! Now I tap this thing and we get a thing. So this is actually the guy who made it, I guess? I don't know, they're... I don't want to get into story stuff, but it's just pretty obvious. I do like his hat. kind of wish I could get his hat. Although it kind of looks like a funnel, and now I don't really want the hat. Also, they talk too fast, so I'm not going to bother reading what they say. I'm much, much too slow of a reader. Not that I'm even sure anyone's here, but... Yeah, I got it. I got a spirit orb. I can spend four of those to get stuff. I can see I got four heart pieces. Ugh, why am I always burpy whenever I start a stream? But yeah, I got four heart pieces. I started with three. Uh, I won't tell you the story things behind that, but I got four of them. And then I got a heart piece. And uh, heart pieces are a lot... I need more of them than I'd like to admit. Wait. I think I might be going into a bad route. I don't want to show off any story stuff. 
So, well, that actually might be the beetle shop, but I'll mark that for later. Not that it matters, I can teleport there. Uh, let's see. Let's look at my map real quick. That's another small thing, is I can go wherever I want. I can do whatever I want. There's no real... There are, like, major goal points, like, I've already pointedly ran away from my main quest, but I don't really need to do it right now. I can do it whenever I want. I can just go out and explore, gather materials, I can catch that cricket if I wanted to. Uh, sadly I'm on an empty field, so there's not really much to show off. Oh, is that a horse? So I can grab this horse. But they're running away. So I cannot actually grab this horse. Because I'm bad. What you actually have to do is you sneak up on them. You can press in on the control stick and it'll crouch you. And you'll start sneaking. Sneaking is not 100% though. It is very inaccurate. There's a fox over there. Because there have been a lot of points where I sneak up behind an enemy or something and they just turn right around on a dime. Like these horses, like, are still running away from me even though I start sneaking. I know that's a dumb thing because realistically that's what they would do. They would just keep running, but, you know. I will say that the Switch version of this game probably looks and plays a lot better. I've already seen a few times where the frame rate just drops and one thing I saw in a recording of someone playing this game is that an enemy ran away and just kept running like we could see him keep running in this version it doesn't do that they kinda just disappear after a bit so minor version differences there I think but that's not a not a huge deal I think I, I don't know kinda depends on how serious you are about it I guess uh, all right, here's a thing I can do. Just see these bees. Forget these bees. Oh, I could catch that, huh? I've actually never thrown the boomerang arm before, so. Hey, I just threw a bone arm at the beehive, grabbed the beehive, then killed the bees. I did that because I could. I didn't have to. That I didn't know about, and now I am very scared. Am I going to die? I'm just going to avoid that. But there's fireworks for you. Just, you know, there's just random fire in the grass. doesn't really spread. It shouldn't because it's raining. But am I going to die? Uh, I did have a comment about, like, one of the NPCs I walked by. Oh, jeez. Uh, he said that if there is metal armor on you... Um, I think I have a... Yeah, see, you can see it right here. It's like, this is a attractant to electricity. You should stick to bone or wood. Otherwise, you're going to die. You're going to get zapped. Okay, this one has metal on it. This one doesn't. Cool. Oh, jeez. Very scary, though. Not gonna lie. Let's make sure I don't have any armor. Huh. Okay. Also, I could take this armor off if I wanted to. I could just walk around in my underwear. But I'm not going to do that. For various reasons. Because I'll probably die. I don't want to die in my underwear. Do you know how embarrassing that would be? Would you please stop that? What? Who did I upset? The game looks beautiful, at least. Even on this crappier Wii U version, I know that the Switch looks... I'd say twice as good at the, as this. Like, you could see individual grass and all that. Whereas this is just kind of looks like a bundle. And the frame rate is going down slightly. I wish I could actually find something to do, but I kind of went on the Hyrule Fields, and there is nothing here except death and... Just grass. Grass everywhere. You small sprints. 
Oh, here's a fun thing. You can hunt boars. And there's a skeleton spawning. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then... I'll just stick to this, I guess. And they drove away my stuff again. Why do you bone guys show up at the worst time? Oh, Bob Clinton? So these are like the re-deads from... Not the re-deads, the... Okay! They're like the skeletons from Orcarina of Time. It's just random spawning skeletons that come out during the night time. They're super annoying because they chase off all your stuff, and it doesn't seem to have any rhyme or reason behind it. They had to give me a Boko Bat, though, and I'm just going to toss that. There we go. I got a two-handed Boko Bat. Oh, my arm broke. Wah. Jeez. The lightning shocks me every time, and that wasn't even an intentional pun. It, like, it legitimately does shock me every time it lands. It's just so loud. I don't know if it's as loud to you guys, if anyone's here, because I can't see the viewers. But, you know, it's super loud. So I'm going to kill this guy. I missed, I think. I got him that time. So you can kill these guys and you get... You get meat, but because I killed him with a fire arrow, it cooked the meat. I think that is a great little, great little thing. I kind of wonder what happened if he gets shocked by lightning. Do you know what happens to a toad when you get hit by lightning? The same thing that happens to everything else. That's a movie reference. A movie I never actually saw, but I've heard a lot of people make fun of that scene. Okay, that was a claymore. I don't issue with the claymore is it's made of metal so I'll probably die as soon as I grab this so I quickly change it over to my spike club okay there we go uh, what is going on that doesn't look good Did I just get attacked by the moon what's going on I don't want story spoilers no nope. stop it I'm on my guard. Alright, if you guys don't want the spoilers, look away. I'll mute the thing for a second. Okay. I'm very careful. Okay, so I muted the game of audio just in case anyone did not want the spoilers, because... I didn't know it was going to happen, that seemed like a random event. But it seems like a very minor one, so it doesn't even really matter. As far as I could tell, it just gave a reason behind them respawning? I don't know. Got a firefly, cool. Hmm. Let's see if I can find a campsite. You can make fire wherever you want as long as you have flint and wood, which you can get wood by chopping trees. But I do not have... Any idea if you can cook there, which is what I want to do. Can I go up the ladder, please? Link? I had to jump for that. Okay, I don't know what this beeping noise is. It does go on and on and on pretty often, but I don't know what really causes it. They have not explained that to me yet, so... Sorry. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I'm just up here now. Hell you. And... Throw. I alerted everybody because I missed my toss. Okay, I don't want to do that. I want to do... This one. Like, uh, whatever, something exploded, I'm just going back to bed. This is not going as far as I would have hoped. Alright, we're going to do this the hard way then. Come on, you moblins. Oh! Locked it with the shield. Ow. Oh, and there's keys too. Oh. So I can deflect them and get like an auto counter off, but I'm not good, and there's a lot of these guys. I have to pull out a different weapon. 
I don't know what that means, but sure. I don't know why it was shining like that. Yep, ah, okay. Well, we are in stranger danger. I'm gonna go in here, and in the middle of battle, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, I'm just gonna eat this crab. That was great. That was great crab. This, too. Oops. Ignore the spoilers. And I died. Okay. Well, I died. That is a pretty good estimate of how good this game would be for streaming, because the death counter would go crazy in this game. I have already died just playing this game super casually. I died like seven times. Three of which I already said was like from me blowing myself up. The others one, like the others were just me getting one shot by a moblin. So like this game is not easy. I was gonna complain a little bit about it not having hero mode uh, like at all, as far as I know. But the game's already super hard. Taking double damage would be disastrous. Like I would probably die from eating something bad. Also, yes, I'm running from that fat that battle because I cannot fight them. I will die. I will lose. I'm bad. I'm sorry. So as far as I can tell, these guys are just like random spawns that... Super easy to fight, super easy to beat. I don't really know what the point of them is, just to give off the feeling of you're never alone, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, I think blue means I've already been there, so I need to go... somewhere else. I guess I'll go towards one of my markers. I don't know what I marked, but I'll go towards it. Yeah, like, in this game, you see that mountain over there? I can go there. See that building? I could go there. In fact, why not? I'll go over there, if I can. I mean, I know I can, I just need to figure out the pathway. It looks like that bridge. A lot of crap on there, though. Ugh. Oh, well, we'll figure out what that is. I don't really want to, like, spoil anything. I know some people are really looking forward to this game, but I'm also just not going to worry too much as long as I stay away from the main quest. That's going to be my main thing, is I'm just staying away from that. Oh yeah, there's the Hyrule Herb. Herb. That's, that's a big skeleton. Where did you come from, man? Oh, this one took more than one hit. That is actually a first. Soldier's Bow. There any more of those. I will prove you wrong. Prop that. Got that. That has a really good bow. Has a massive arm. Moblin arm. 15 damage. Wow. Let's go over here to my melee weapons. Uh, I guess I'll just toss this. But although that's like way. I'll just drop one of my swords, I guess. The reason I'm not dropping this is because it's a torch. It's good for lighting stuff, so I want to keep at least one of those. That's how you cook, is you light a torch. Why'd I drop it? Why'd I say I was gonna keep it and then drop it? Brain? Please? Okay, there. I can inventory manage, I swear. So this is one downside of the game, is you're gonna walk around a lot. That kinda feels like it's also the main point of the game, is you're gonna walk around a lot. It's like... Finally, we're free of the Zelda-esque go from here to here to here. You can just go wherever you want, but it's going to take a bit. Kill these guys. There's a fox. going to let that fox go. I'm tired of wasting my fire arrows, because... Like, the explosive barrels I threw earlier, like, you have to blow them up with either a fire arrow or something else. And this looks like spoiler territory, but whatever. I don't know what's coming, so keep expecting to like step into Lake Hylia from Ocarina of Time, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Kinda wanna go over there. Kinda wanna go over there, actually. Let's go over to that shrine. Alright, here's the thing, you just go over here. You can't roll anymore as far as I can tell. Like, I've tried to roll. It doesn't really seem to do anything. You do backflips, but only if you're targeting something or just, you know, holding down Z target as usual. But, you can go up to these things instead of rolling into them and you can just grab some apples. Like, ah, oh, those apples look really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And... 
I don't know how to get that one. There we go, now on top. Oh, okay. What's that? Oh, I guess it's just a weird colored branch. The light's playing tricks on me, guys, already. I'm already going crazy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, though, because... It's what I'm here for. Dang it! Question number one. Are you good at climbing trees? No. No, I'm not. Couldn't be if I tried. I don't really know how to grab these apples. I just keep falling off. You know what? I think I know that the best way <laughs> this to grab these apples is. I was going to shoot it, but now I have a better idea. Uh, this button. No, not that button. So, if you're holding your arrow, like you press the arrow shooting button, it'll switch the D-pad to go from... Like, you can see on the top left, it has shields and sword. So I can switch between them really quick. Pull out the arrow, it switches between arrows and bows. So, I have to press the melee button to pull that out. We're gonna go over here, I got this woodcutter axe. Chop! So I just whack it and that will make the apples fall down. Okay, gotcha. I can also chop this up. There we go. Who needs apple trees? And since I can jump manually, I can just go BAM! Whoops, I miss. BAM! Now I got wood. And that was the entire woodcutting scenario. Don't, is that an enemy? I can't tell if that's an enemy. No, that looks like a human, so... I'm just gonna ignore him. Just gonna ignore him. I'm assuming this is from something weird and I don't really want to deal with it right now I'll deal with that later I want to go over there to that shrine uh, it depends oh that's a big choo-choo I would say if you want to buy this game it is better on the switch but if you want to get this game sooner just go ahead and buy it on Wii U okay well there goes my bomb I just hold out my gamepad to the screen and it'll blow up that bomb. It's not true, I press L. I will say I do not like the throw button being the top R thing on the Wii U gamepad. And on the Switch it's probably a lot better. Yeah, if you're going to get a Switch either way, like... Go ahead and wait. But at the same time, I personally say wait on getting a Switch too. Because the switch itself is very... Oh, I smack that chew jelly. Smack that follow button. Unless you're already following, in which case don't. Uh, but like, the... The switch has a lot of minor issues that make it not totally worth it for me. I definitely want it. It looks like a great system. Don't really care for the minor things, though. And I feel like they'll get addressed. So... Like, there's just the small thing of... Okay, this is not good. This is not good. I need to get back up on land. Okay, there's land. Also, is that a duck? Those are just straight up ducks. It's like the gamepad, Wii U, or whatever, the controller, it can, like... It can just lose sync, and, like, that's not good at all. Okay, there's no food I have that restores stamina, as far as I know. Let me check. Nope, I have to cook that mushroom to release the stamina properties. That gives me stamina, but that is a lot of stuff. Do I have anything else that gives me stamina? Uh, nothing super light on the stomach. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and drown. So if you drown, you lose a heart. There we go. I lost a heart. Now I'm up here somehow. So I'm gonna introduce the other power I have. Cryosis, or Cryonis? Cryonis. So, I can just make ice blocks in the water. And I can climb on top of them. You can kind of use this as like stepping stones and just a way to get across long distances if you want. It's also for puzzles, but this is mostly what I use it for. I think the only limitation is it has to be in a full square of water. And you cannot have more than three at a time, I think. Yeah, three. Stop flirting with the bot.
Oh, wow, I did not know that. Vertical surfaces become slick with water when it rains, even though this is ice and therefore already water. Making it harder to climb. Weird. At least there's no, like, water logging or anything. Like, at least this rain is not water logging my clothes and making it harder to move. That would be annoying. Yeah, like, overall, since I don't plan on getting a Switch for a couple months, I went ahead and got this game. I just won't be getting it for the Switch. I will be getting other games with the Switch. Like, Ukulele. I heard that was going to get a release on the Switch, and I'm definitely getting that. Because it's made with the same... It's made from the same people that made Banjo-Kazooie. So, yeah, it's just another collect-a-thon platformer, but it looks fun. So, I'm going to get it. So, you know what else I'm going to get? I'm going to get myself some cooked bird. It didn't go off. Why didn't it go off? Is it because it's raining? I hate that rain. Ah, uh, no, come back. Okay. I was going to get some cooked bird, but no. The gods told me, no bird today. And, like, I wanted this game right away. I've been looking for another Zelda game. I would love to keep playing this on stream and just have it be the thing, but I know that a lot of people aren't going to watch it, and I would rather have a stream that I can entertain people on without having to deal with people avoiding it just so I don't give them any spoilers. Although this game's... I'm sure that once I get into the, like, the main meat of this game, which I haven't yet, it's not going to be very spoiler heavy. Because I'm pretty sure after a while it just gets to the point where it's like, okay, you've done things, now go fight the very end of the game, which you can do at the very start of the game. Like, that's something they announced when they were making this game, is you can go to the very end at the very beginning. It's just you're going to miss out on 90% of the game. That's fair. I do not blame you for not looking, but I'm glad you're at least here. I hope you at least appreciate my voice. Is that gaudy enough for you? You who f sets foot in this shrine, I am Rata. Oh! Okay, so this guy's already rotting away. Yeah, I'll probably. This will probably be my only Breath of the Wild stream. After that, I will probably go back to Donkey Kong or Shantae. I heard Shantae is getting a hard mode unlocked. Which basically means the game is just going to be the same game except, like, harder, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. I have not looked into it too much. What am I doing here? Magnets. Yep, exclusive stream. You only see it here. You miss it? Oh, well. Do I need to... What do I need to do here? I don't know... This... Oh, wait, I know exactly what this one is. It's stasis, right? No? Okay, I have no idea. Uh, another thing I could really say about this game is that it has great physics. Like, not perfect physics, not perfect AI, but great physics nonetheless. What is this? I, oh, it's that's the door out. Why am I a dumb? Oh well, I'll come back to this later. I can fast travel here whenever I want. Uh, you cannot have a mage fight on your own. Sorry. So if no one else is here, then you're kinda on your own. No, I'm not gonna fight you. Like, I just cleaned the carpet. I can't get blood all over it again. So I'll come back there later. What's up here? I don't know who this Dan's game is, but he sounds like... Sounds like a Dan. Oh no, a Chew Jelly. Tried to attack that fox. Couldn't let that happen. It's also really awkward having Chew... What is that? Well, it's an enemy. Or is it? I don't know. Huh. That's cool, I guess. 
Oh, I still had bomb arrows equipped. Whoops. Why did I not hit him? Hey, Cricket. Okay, well, I'm really hurt, so I'm gonna go ahead and chow down. I don't know which to eat. I don't really want to eat the blackened crab. Yeah, that's good. I like the blackened crab too. Um, I use an ice arrow. I have not tried the ice arrow yet. I also use the lizard bow. Boom! You're dead. A fire rod. Magical rod that can cast fireballs. Crafted by an ancient magician, the rod will break if it strikes something directly. So use it wisely. Cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not because it's a fire rod, but you know, you get what I mean. Okay, so I can. Another small issue I have with this game is you have to go into the menu to drop stuff. Like, I could go to here and just be like, you know what? I don't like this spear anymore. See ya. But that takes a lot of time, and I don't like doing it. Uh, if you do toss a weapon, though, it actually does double damage or something. But it also has a very high chance to break. So, it's one of those... One of those things where I guess you wait for the weapon to almost break and then you toss it. Something like that. Got this moblin arm. Just, you know, using a... It's still moving. I think that's the weirdest part about this weapon. Is it's still a moving arm. It's still alive. And I'm hitting people with it. That looks like a long way down. Fighting yourself is like playing tennis with a wall. Maybe next time. Oh, couldn't get it. Couldn't get those crickets. Okay, so that looks like it goes to the desert. There's, you know, ice right beside it for some reason. That's weird. Okay. Hmm. So I'm not really sure what else to do. What else to say? Yeah, sure. I mean, I guess you do, but you don't win anything. So. I'm actually thinking about uh, changing the values of the mage fight just a little bit. I'm thinking about making it so if you join the fight, you get all of your winnings back. So like, say you bet 100, you'll get 200 back. You know what I mean? Instead of the 35% that it's at now. But at the same time, I think I might have to lower the victory rating, which is at 30% now, if you were curious about that. Uh, just to make it a little harder. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and fly. You know, we... I believe I could fly. I'm probably going to die. Yeah, I think I might make this... See, how many... I think I might make this one an hour. Maybe switch to a different game. People want to see me stream still. Although you're the only one here, I think. So, eh. I just wanted to show off the game a little bit. But I do want to show... Something feels off. Hey. Yeah, yeah, there lives a something called the Lord of the Mountain, they say. I don't know if it's like a big fish or a stubborn old man or what. Who knows? All right, see a Glindo. Oh, you're only a ghost? Also, what doesn't make sense? I don't know what I said. Because of how my brain works, I usually say things and then immediately forgot that I said them. So, I'm sorry in advance. I wish I had a pot. Like, I don't have like a customizable pot. I just had to find one. Maybe I can just make one. Hang on, let me see if I can. I'm gonna go over and... To a secluded thing. Ooh, is that a pig? That is a pig, but... What is that? There's so many things where I'm just like, what is this? Oh, it's a radish. I got a rad-ish.
Uh, well, I'm gonna kill this pig. There you go. I killed Pumba. He's completely cooked. Oh, he burnt. Yeah, it's seared. Ooh, another radish. A hearty radish. Is that how is that different from the other radish I got? Killed the same amount of hearts, I think. Yeah, whatever. Alright, this looks like a good spot to try it out. Why not? Okay, so I can go in here. Go to my materials, I think. Hold. Uh. Where is my flint? There it is. That didn't that didn't do anything. How do how do I do things? Use a crime, blah 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 blah. Strike it with a metallic weapon to generate a spark, okay. So switch to my claymore. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Got a campfire going that just magically bundled up. And I cannot cook here. That's a shame. That's like the one thing I really wanted to show off because cooking is really cool. I cook in my shield. Can I cook in the shield? Maybe I get like an alt. Why do I keep pressing L R and L? Why? Tell me why. Maybe I get like a special cooking pot I can use wherever. Anyway, I'll just teleport somewhere I know has a thing. Which is at the beginning of the game. So close your eyes if you don't want the spoilers. Loading screens in this one is also really long for the Wii U version. I'm sure the Switch is a... Switch ha probably has a better loading screen. Yep, spoilers, but it's okay. It's very minor spoiler. Like, it's not even... Not even really a spoiler. I dodged all the story stuff. Except for that very minor thing. Where there was a cutscene that I didn't want it to have a cutscene. Yeah, like, overall, for this game, I know I'm not doing a very good job of, like, being like, oh, here's everything to it. Like, it looks beautiful, it plays pretty well, like, Link is very responsive to everything I do, and the Zelda difficulty has been amped up to, like, times three. Like, this game is way more difficult than Ocarina of Time is, like, right at the get-go. Like, I have already died seven times. I don't think I died once when I first played Ocarina of Time until I got to, uh, the dragon. Like, the dragon was my first death. So, like, overall, for what this game is trying to be, like, I can grab this lizard. That lizard that was going by my feet, I could grab that. I could grab that and cook it. As soon as I find a cooking pot. And there's just a bunch of stuff to it. I have died. I am not ashamed to admit that I'm bad. Once you become bad enough to admit that you're bad, that's when you truly know that you're bad. Like, even in, like, hero mode or something, like, that's chicken. No, wait, that's just a regular bird. Never mind. I thought I was going to have a serious fight on my hands for a second. There's a cooking pot. Oh yeah, I was like, I don't know, eight? Something like that. So you can go over here and grab the guy's bow, but I don't really need it. Do I? I have a 
worst spell? Yeah, I do. Do that. Okay, so let's show off the cooking thing as my last thing, and then I'll probably stop the stream. Might stream something else, but I think it's too late at night, and everyone else is streaming anyways. But yeah, here's cooking. Uh, you just go into the menu, and you can take anything you have in here. So I want to cook... Let's see. I'll cook something I know is there. So I got a spicy pepper, a bass, and raw meat. So I put them in my hand, and then I can drop them in there, but... Hang on. I actually need to light this up. So... I forgot to do one thing, and that is actually light up the pot. So we take out the flint, smack it with our claymore. Why did that go out? What happened? Because it's raining. Darn this rain! It just started raining. Ugh. I'm gonna wait for the sky to clear up. Grab these acorns. I just want to show off cooking. Dang it. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna switch off that real quick before I get shocked to death. I don't want the gods to cook me. That would be ironic. I hit that boar. I want to see you burn that boar alive, please. It would be amazing. Oh yeah, it's so noisy out right now that this thing cannot hear me. Oh no, he heard me! So I smacked him in the head. Thank you. Okay, so I guess I can climb this, can I? Yeah, I can. Nice. Oh no, it's so slippery. It's almost like, whoa! Ugh. So tired. But this game also has a lot of illusions. Like when I saw... Oh, Link is tired. Ah, oh, you lost a lot of points. Sorry, Reborn. But yeah, like, over here I thought there was only going to be five types, or like four types of arrows, and I got a fit there. I was like, whoa, cool. That's really neat. Oh, Hikari's catching up. She's not even doing anything if she's catching up. I got these boneheads to deal with. It's also cool that there's just rainy days, there's sunny days, there's all the kinds of days. Yeah, I lost that pot. Alright, there it is. And if you're at a campfire, you can wait until morning, but I don't know if you can do that while it's not lit. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. Nope, you cannot. Probably because she doesn't spend any. Alright, so it is almost over an hour. Hopefully this rain goes away. Please come again another day. Can I just teleport somewhere? Oh, that's a stamp I placed down to do something. Uh, maybe if I go somewhere, it'll go away. And I melt into little strings. Fly away. Alright, well... Basically, you can put up to five things in a pot, and it'll cook. It's still raining. So I do like that consistency, but dang it, I just want to cook. I don't think there's any, like, safety houses or anything, either. Hell you. I would say another major part of this game that I really like is that these monsters are alive. Like, they will attack you, but they like, fear you, they can react to things, they get upset if you steal their weapon, because you can, like, knock their weapon out of their hands and then take it from them. It's, like, very clear that these monsters know what they're doing. Although, okay, here's one thing I pro uh, you should probably watch, Reborn. Well, once I get through here. There's a bunch of skeletons attacking me. Okay, are they there? Okay, here's one thing you should probably watch. Uh, this is the physics engine at work. So I can go up to this rock, I can line it up, and I can push this rock down, 
and it squished the guy. And now his friend is like, oh no, my friend just got squished. Oh, well, he wasn't really that great of a friend anyways. Oh no, my friend's dead. Oh, it's, um, it's really late. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go back to bed. Alright. Good night. You know, best friend dead. No, who cares? And then I'm gonna do this. Stop time. My club broke, but it's fine. I, oh, I was pressing the wrong button. That was my bad. There's another physics engine thing, it just flies off. And there it goes. And then instead of uh, actually dealing with that guy, I'm just going to do this. Oh. I missed. Oh yeah, here's another great thing, if I can show it off. I'm sneaking. Also, there's Link Butt. Went to a different butt simulator. There's a close-up of Link's butt. Hope you enjoy this private showing. And then I can go up to this guy. I can assassinate him in his sleep. He's dead. And he never is going to wake up. There we go. Like I killed his friend with a rock. He didn't really care. And then I assassinated him. Yeah, if you sneak up to enemies, you can assassinate them. You won't do major damage if you have a weak weapon or if they're just super strong. But there were these massive moblins I snuck up behind and I did half his health bar with just one attack. And I know that doesn't sound like much. Also, these guys have health bars. I feel like that's pretty new. You have, have, to, have to have an item in Wind Waker for that. Also, it's not raining anymore. I can finally go cook. Show off the cooking. Ignore all that. Yeah, you can go through this game by like doing stealth kills. You can get critical hits. If you sneak up on someone and shoot them in the head, you can get a critical hit. And they will die. I can go over and get this stupid lightning bug. I am completely lost though. This is another issue I have this game. That's why it took me four hours to get through it. I get lost really easy. I have no idea where that pot is. Go away. Yeah, you can do like stealth kills with your bow, with your sword, as long as you don't touch them. I noticed that if you touch them, they will spin around on a dime. I think I already used that phrase today, but doesn't matter. But they'll just spin around really quick, and it's pretty irritating, but it's realistic, I guess. It's like if you suddenly felt a cold steel pressing against your back, would you not turn around? I wouldn't. I'd be like, uh, what's going on? What's going on here? Okay, so the thing is right there. I believe it was over there, but I don't... Why is it so easy to get completely lost? It's not even that far. Also, these rocks just respawned here, I guess. Uh, where are the pots? It's gonna start raining again. As soon as I get to the pot, it's gonna rain again. I just know it. Like, there's a fire down there, but the moblins do not have pots. They just cook a giant steak. And that's all they do. So, they ignore them. Wait, I know exactly where it is. Oh. I just whistle? Why did I just whistle? I didn't even know that was an option. I just pressed down on the D-pad. I guess you can do that like serious Hitman style. You could just whistle someone over to you and then just kill them. It's like tossing a coin. It's probably for the horse, to be honest, now that I think about it. You can probably get like a dedicated horse. Yeah, this, this Zelda game is honestly revolutionary. In Zelda franchise alone. Because like, not only do I have a whistle button which he does while he's moving but I could jump I have the ability to skip through the fields of Hyrule as I please 
and then fall to my death because I jumped off a cliff. Yay, I'm just prancing along like a little little fairy boy. It's like what I always dreamed. Like, could you imagine doing this in Ocarina of Time? I couldn't. I'm gonna prance along to this pot so I can cook all of my fancy friends a fancy dinner. I press start. Pull out the flint. Stop pressing that button. Why do you do that? What? Oh. I don't have anything equipped because I tossed my sword. I'm a fool! Oh well. I can just do this. That is not what I intended for that, but alright. Okay, just fireball. That is not what I wanted to do, but okay. Everything's on fire. That's fine. Because now we can cook. Also, I can press sit, and I can just sit here until a certain point of time. Because certain things come out during certain points of time. I'm gonna ignore that fire in the background. I press pause. Then you press... You can press A and go to like a menu where you can do this. So you can press hold, and then it'll start the whole thing. I like to press X and then do it. That way you can just get straight into holding stuff without having to go into that little little menu. Uh, stop holding. I do not want to hold a mushroom. Mushrooms, not super good. I'm actually going to make an elixir. I'm going to take this sunset firefly, and I'm going to add a... I'm going to add two Boblin Fangs and two Bobco Horns and see what that does. You know, just toss them in there, see what that makes. I have no idea what's going to happen. I got a Sneaky Elixir. Doesn't give me any hearts, grants a low-level stealth effect. Cool. For six minutes. Interesting. And then if I make something serious, I can press hold, get a Spicy Peppa. Then I can grab this raw steak and a bass, toss them in the pot. And I got the meat and seafood fry. It's supposed to do something else, but I guess I used the wrong fish. Take that. Take another, sp you know what? Don't want to do that. I want a, I want the raw thing. That's a rich mushroom, don't want that. Uh, take some carrots, some apples, and some herbs. And just toss them in the pot, see what happens. <laughs> Fried wild greens. Basic vegetable dish made by sauteing fresh wild plants. What happened to the meat? I don't know. Why are you asking me? And now we're just going to cook a bunch of lizards and frogs with a little bit of mushroom. Make sure you cook them properly, mix them all together, and you get complete slop. Dubious fruit, or food, not fruit. It's too gross to even look at. A bizarre smell issues forth from this heap. Eating it won't hurt you, though. Probably. So that's what happens when you get something wrong, which is kind of what I was going for. I wonder if I can eat this. Probably not. Kind of what happens if I do this. Five chew jellies. Let's go. Nothing. This won't hurt you, probably. And honestly, that's all there is to this game so far. Like, there's story stuff I could do. I could go over, uh... I can switch my shirt. I keep switching over to the mini thing, and I'm sorry for that. But yeah, there's my Wii U Switch shirt, or my Nintendo Switch shirt. Might as well be a Wii U Switch shirt since I'm on the Wii U. And that's going to be it for the recording and the stream and everything, because I know people don't really want to see major spoilers. There's a tree getting in my way of my... In, in the way of my dramatic shot. But yeah, that's kind of just all I wanted to show off. I'll probably put a video of this up instead of uh, 
relying on the stream views, but hope it was at least minorly entertaining and informative. And yeah, if you want to buy it for the Switch, then wait, because the Switch is not going to be worth it. My pants are on fire. I'm going to point that out. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, it's my fire rod. Okay. I guess I should have assumed that. But it's a good game. If you want it right now, get it for the Wii U. It's totally worth it, as far as I can tell. Like, unless the game suddenly takes a nosedive, once you get to the meat of things, then... I would give this game a solid 9 out of 10. It has very minor issues, but I would I would and will play this for hours on end. And I'll die, 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 die trying to do my best because I cannot stop dying. I've died at least 50 billion times in these Zelda games, and I'm just going to keep on dying. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Sorry, I had a minor interruption. So thanks for watching, Reborn. Glad that at least one person showed up. Not that I care or anything. But yeah, it's fine. Everyone's busy, it's late at night, so... That's gonna be it. And I will... Probably see ya... <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? I'll probably see you tomorrow. I'll probably stream something else. Definitely not this, but... I... I wonder... Oh, it just throws fireballs. Cool. Well, there that goes. I just set the whole world on fire. Good job, me. And that's gonna be in the stream. So, see you later, Reborn. And anyone watching this video.